Hi, my dear friends. My name is Dima, and I've been tutoring people for uh, IELTS, TOEFL, and SAT for quite a while already. In this short video, I want to emphasize with you that uh, the importance of your mindset, mindset and approach to IELTS Academic Writing 1. Though, I think this approach can be applicable just in many cases, even in ind independent essays, uh, many tests. But, IELTS Academic Writing 1, it's just it's the primary field where it is uh, realized and where it can yield you the necessary outcome, the desired band. So, okay. Just to put it into simple words, I want you to visualize and imagine, so when you sit down to write your academic writing one, graphic description, some visual description, so uh, what do you have in your mind? Imagine that you are a scholar, let's say an academician in some field, especially in linguistics, of course, so, and you have come out onto the stage, yes, and you are delivering your report to the audience and the audience consists primarily of uh, those also academicians you see and so those scholars are sitting there let's say 100 people and you need to describe to them your graph but they don't have an opportunity to see the graph so you need to let's say speak but in our case to write but then to read what you have written in such a way that their minds uh, draw pictures in their imagination of this graph without seeing it actually you see and uh, another important aspect, the paramount aspect of this is, imagine how you would write or speak to those academicians. I don't think that you will say something like, oh, dude, glad to be here, and how, how is it going? No, 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 no. You will say, like, dear friends, something like that, dear colleagues, it's just, uh, so a closer look at this graph indicates that, or, yeah, something like that, you see? So just feel this style. You are a scientist speaking to other scientists, very educated people. So this language of uh, educated conversation, of course, it differs greatly from that language which you hear it, I don't know, in the streets, at school, canteen, or anywhere else. Please bear that in mind. It will yield you, it will bring you enormous benefits. Imagine that you're an academician and you're writing a message, in our case, a report or a description, to your colleagues. Uh, try to remember those maybe films uh, which you have seen in your life about some scientists, how they converse, so how they interact, the language, it's very important. And just I can guarantee that you will write something like that, something about that. And you will memorize better those phrases, rich English phrases, like I have already mentioned, a closer look at them, hmm, just this or that, just to... So there are too many of them, like thousands, I cannot come up now with the list, but... Uh, the approach is 99% in this case, you see. If you don't think about it, just sit down and start writing. Yes, you will write something to end, but uh, the problem with many people, as I see by my students, not that they don't know English or they don't try to memorize those phrases, like this plateaued and then it soared and then plunged. Yes, yes, but they, uh, don't, they lack the philosophy of integrating this into the overall academic context in their writing. If you, for example, try to, you can find, if you wish, in Google, for example, you please uh, type something like academic report, a scientific report, something like that. So you browse through those sites and you will obligatorily find some of them, real reports, long or short. And so try to read them. You will feel this atmosphere, academic atmosphere. So imagine that you are such a guy who works in this field. It's a very rich and very complex language. For me personally, by the way, to write a beautiful description of the graph is uh, more difficult than just to write um, the independent essay, number two. Though, a lot of people say that at IELTS and other tests, this uh, academic description is not valued so much as your independent one. I don't know why. Because in this description, you are kept within that cage of this academic language, you see. So it's very... Well, in that independent essay, yes, they recommend you that you keep to this uh, style of modern written English, but you know, the frames of this and the boundaries, who have said them? Modern... Uh, I don't remember how they formulate, so modern English, yes. If you read various articles by various reporters in various serious newspapers, you will see that this style differs greatly, it varies. But about academic description, it's much more rigid, limited, 
and you really need the art of just integrating of keeping yourself in those frames and at the same time being let's say expressive to some degree expressive and uh, i don't know bright and influential upon someone's mind okay my friend so i think you have got my message please imagine while you're sitting down to write try to work it out at home to prepare to i don't know to practice to rehearse that you are an academician who is describing your visual to other academicians who don't see it but you want to draw a picture in their minds of this visual and of course in order to do this you will highlight the most essential the most outstanding details and points and everything ignoring those minor ones otherwise your essay will be diluted by those unnecessary elements and it can lower your score i think so i cannot guarantee because nobody can guarantee anything about ielts or other english tests a lot depends upon your grader who will read your creation but anyway they have their guidelines and of course uh, their guidelines are not so you know everything is subjective just remember about them that's why you will see sometimes that the person who has lower a lower level of english he has got just a higher score than really a clever guy who has really brilliant vocabulary and everything and style and diction i don't know why so okay let's not think about that let's think about the positive okay i wish you great band at isles and see you in the following videos